I've seen a couple of people in the comment section saying that they're getting tired of the Gypsy Rose videos, but ladies and gentlemen, I am sorry. I simply cannot look away from this train wreck that is happening in front of our faces right now. It's extremely hard to look away because I've been calling this stuff out from the beginning. And with this latest news that has come out, Gypsy Rose is seriously on track to becoming one of the most disliked people in America. And I don't think that's what she's going for, but boy, oh boy, I think she's going to accomplish that feat. Now, as I reported to you all in the last video, Gypsy Rose did not sign a prenup with her husband, Ryan. Now, Ryan is a special ed school teacher that actually lost his job because of his dealings with Gypsy. So I don't think Ryan has much to offer. But in Louisiana, how this works is when you get married, whatever money, you know, the couple ac accumulates during the marriage, they split in half if there's no prenup. The only problem for Gypsy is Ryan hasn't been raking up in much money. I believe Ryan was using money from his savings accounts to help support Gypsy after he lost his job. So I don't think Ryan has much money. Whereas Gypsy has had boatloads of cash rolling in from documentaries, reality shows, books, TV appearances, and her advertising and promoting random products on the internet. So now all of that money that Gypsy was able to rake in for the first few months since she got out of jail, it looks like at least half of that may go to Ryan. But Gypsy doesn't think things should be that way. In fact, Gypsy won't... It's, <laughs> it's almost too unbelievable. It's like, do you really want people to despise you? even further. It's almost too unbelievable to say out, out of my mouth right now. But Gypsy Rose wants spousal support. Gypsy Rose wants Ryan to be paying her money as she goes out and blows her ex-fiance and gets matching tattoos. She wants Ryan to be paying to support her, even though she's got hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars rolling in from all of these TV deals, book deals, and you name it. So it wasn't bad enough that she used Ryan while she was in prison and immediately kicked him to the curb. She's now trying to suck him dry of anything she can. And honestly, it doesn't get much worse than this. A person can't look much worse than this if you ask me. And that's why I said at the beginning of this video, Gypsy is becoming one of the most disliked, unlikable people in America. She's at the point where she's almost just as bad, if not worse than her mom. I mean, at the end of the day, her mom didn't kill anyone. Gypsy did. But that's a conversation for another day. I do feel bad for everything Gypsy went through. Let me go ahead and reassure you of all of that before people start crying. But that doesn't give her an excuse to treat people like crap. And that's what happened with Ryan. Let me put this into perspective for you all. Ryan basically supported her while she was in prison, right? Look at pictures of Gypsy Rose before she got with Ryan, and then look at pictures of Gypsy Rose after she got with Ryan. You see how much weight she put on? That's called happy weight. Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, when you meet the right person, you get really comfortable and you put on this happy weight. Fellas, sometimes you meet that right girl, she knows how to cook, and you, you add on a few extra pounds. Ladies, Sometimes you're locked in prison for killing your mom and you meet a guy like Ryan that buys you a shit ton of honey buns and ramen noodles and you wind up putting on pounds. But yeah, as you can see, Ryan was supporting her. She, she was obviously eating good while she was with Ryan. 
And Ryan set it up to where Gypsy didn't have a single thing to worry about when she got out of jail. When Gypsy got out of jail, Ryan was there. Ryan already had a home secured for Gypsy to parole out to. Ryan took her shopping. Ryan did all of this while Gypsy was in prison. I don't know the specifics and the ins and outs of things, but seeing as Gypsy Rose was in prison, I'm sure she couldn't she could not orchestrate everything that was going on in her life, you know, once she got out. So I wouldn't be surprised if if Ryan helped her with her book, helped her land these TV deals and things like that. I think Ryan was working behind the scenes almost like a manager for Gypsy, ensuring that Gypsy gets the bag and that she's set up for everything once she got out of jail. The problem is Gypsy took Ryan for this ride while she was in prison. She milked him dry. He lost his job. He lost everything thinking that he's building this future with Gypsy and she kicks him to the curb a few months later because it was all part of the plan. The part of the plan, the entire plan was to use Ryan for everything she could while she was in jail, make sure she had a secure place to go when she got out of jail, and now she wants spousal support. I'm gonna leave you, I'm gonna run off with my ex, but I want you to pay for my dates. I want you to pay for my nose job. I want you to pay for these things. That's what's going on. But before I rant even further, let's go ahead and dive right into this article. Gypsy Rose Blanchard wants her estranged husband, Ryan, to pony up some dough as they end their marriage, asking a judge to sign off on alimony for her. Gypsy's divorce docs, our divorce docs, say that she is requesting spousal support from Ryan, both in the end term and in the long term. She's also asking that the court deny Ryan's spousal support from her end, arguing that he's not entitled to it. The reason she says she feels that way is Gypsy says Ryan is the one responsible for the end of their marriage. Therefore, she doesn't believe he's entitled to any cash payments from her. So let's pause. She's saying that Ryan is to blame for the end of their marriage even though Gypsy is the one that left him to go freaking gallivant around with her ex-fiance. Ryan said he was blindsided, had no idea. He's kind of clueless. He doesn't even understand what's going on yet because it's, it, it happened like a whirlwind. One minute he's laying in bed with Gypsy and they're pretending that she's pregnant. Two days later, she's gone and she's on TMZ holding hands with her ex-fiance, getting tattoos. So she's blaming Ryan for this. This is not Ryan's fault. And I hope the court is able to see that. But someone like Gypsy is dangerous because she's going to try to use that, vi that victimhood status. Well, remember when I was that little girl in the wheelchair? Remember what my mama did to me? That's what she's going to try to hide behind for the rest of her life as she tries to ruin other people's lives. There is no freaking reason as to why she would do this. This shows you how scummy, how down low and dirty of a person Gypsy is. The apple does not, far, does not fall far from the tree. Gypsy is going to do well off in life if things keep going at the rate they're going now. Gypsy will make way more money than me and you will ever see in our lifetime. But no, that's not enough. Never mind the fact that she's got like four reality shows coming out, probably working on another book. God knows what this freako is doing. That's not enough. She also needs Ryan to keep giving her paychecks, not just in the short term as they get divorced, but in the long term. I need Ryan to be paying me off. Ryan needs to be paying me money as I go suck this dude off, as I go freak around with Ken. Isn't that insane? How down low can you get? This is the lowest of the low. And, you know, I understand that sometimes women are, are just people in general. They want to be petty and vindictive and all of that nonsense. But come on. 
Ryan did everything for Gypsy. And I'm not, like I keep trying to tell you, I'm not here to defend the guy like that. But, I mean, from the outside looking in, I mean, we can see that Ryan did way more for Gypsy than Gypsy did for Ryan. Gypsy hasn't done anything for anyone in her entire life. All she's done is take away from people and use people. And here she is. You think her scamming days are over? Hell no. She scammed Ryan out of everything while she was in jail. More than likely, she was talking to Ken and other dudes the whole time as Ryan poured all of his money into her, losing his job and what have you. And now she wants even more money as she gallivants and does what she wants to do. But let's go further into this article. There's a few more tidbits, including the fact that Gypsy says she's dead set on divorce and intends to live separately from Ryan without reconciliation for the next 180 days, which is what is legally required. The date of separation for them is listed as March 25th. I want everyone to remember that date, March 25th. Fifth, because there's some people out here who are big fangirls of Gypsy, okay? And they're trying to defend Gypsy as if, oh no, Gypsy left Ryan long ago. You're wrong. You're just late to this news. No. 25th has not been that long at all. A few days later, she was already out getting tattoos. That's how quickly these things happen. Obviously, they have no children together, and Gypsy says that she isn't pregnant either. Even though Gypsy tried to pretend as if she was pregnant for the last couple of weeks of her marriage to Ryan, but I guess that didn't get the attention that she wanted, so then she decided to divorce him and drag him through the freaking mud, which I think she always intended to do that. I just don't know if she had a particular timeline set up in her mind but this shows you that gypsy played the long game like i said once a scammer always a scammer you know when it comes to someone like gypsy you think that i fully believe that people can learn from mistakes and grow as people but has gypsy rose shown you that she has learned anything or grown as a person she still talks like a freaking 11 year old and she's still out here every chance she gets manipulating someone trying to play the victim. And that's what she's doing here. Blaming everything on Ryan. It's Ryan's fault that we're breaking up. Never mind the fact that you're out with some other dude already. You know what I mean? It's so obvious. But like I said, I don't think this is what she's going for. But she is on a fast track to becoming one of the most disliked, despised people in America. And I don't think there's going to be much turning around from this. Um, once this reality show drops, she's in for a rude awakening because if she thinks the internet was not kind enough to her, you know, when she got out of jail, it's going to get even worse, but don't feel bad for her because she just signed up for another season. So she's about to get another paycheck. And even though she's about to get another paycheck for another season of this reality show, she still wants Ryan to keep giving her money as well. So, I mean, Ryan, like I told you all, he's become another victim of Gypsy Rose. Gypsy Rose has three bodies now, if you ask me. Her mom, Nick, and Ryan. I would say that Ken is going to be next, but I don't necessarily think so. I think Ken is in this for his own personal gain as well. Ken, like, left his girlfriend to go be back with Gypsy, and Gypsy got the divorce, so... Them two deserve whatever is coming to them, and it's going to be ugly. I assure you of that. But for now, let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you would like to donate, you can donate via Cash App or Super Thanks, or for free, you can help the channel by ringing the notification bell, sharing the video, and subscribing. But with that being said, I'll talk to you all soon in the next one.